Aries. Welcome back. This is going to be a love reading. But we're going to do something a little bit different. Aries, we're going to take a look at your energy. And we're going to take a look at your person's energy. And then we're going to see where this connection is going. If you enjoy the spread, please comment below to let me know that you enjoyed the spread so that I know to incorporate it in my readings. Now, Aries, let's get your energy. We have tune into inner peace for your person. We have show off your sparkle and shine from inside. Okay, let's get some more energy here. For you, Aries, we have harmony and resolution. For your person. We have signs and reminders. And we'll take one more. For you, Aries, we have abundance. For your person, we have vanity. At the bottom, we have perfection. Okay, now let's take a look at the tarot. I'm going to use three different tarot decks. Aries, I'm going to, I'm going to use one deck for you, one deck for your person, and then one deck for the connection. So, let's get some tarot for Aries. <clears throat> Tell me about this connection for Aries. How does this connection make Aries feel? What are they feeling about this connection? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. I'm going to move these down some. The Nine of Cups. Wow, okay. And we have the Page of Cups. page of wands a lot of communication going on here and at the bottom we have the strength card so I feel like you're showing yourself a lot of love Aries you love this person unconditionally and I, it kind of shows where you feel like this is your wish fulfillment and I feel like you want to tell this person exactly how you're feeling exactly how they make you feel you're feeling so passionate about this situation. And I feel like you just want to convey it. You want to show them. You want to tell them. There's a lot you want to say, Aries. There's a lot you want to express to this person. But I feel like, you know, with harmony and resolution, um, I feel like there may be something going on. There may be something that's kind of putting a wedge between you. There's been a reason why you have so much communication here. I feel like there's been a lack of communication. But I feel like you're still you're still hopeful, you're still happy. You're still feeling like it can all work out. But I feel like your focus is on yourself you've kind of tuned into your inner peace you may have went within to kind of focus on you for a moment 
Now for your person. What do we have for Aries person? What do we have for Aries person? The Four of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Wow. A lot of thoughts. A lot of thinking going on here. And the Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom we have the Justice card. <clears throat> now remember these roles can be flipped. So this could be your person. This could be your feelings. But yeah, this is what's coming out. So if it feels like it's flipped then take it how how it resonates okay for your person i feel like this person may be a little vain um but i feel like their confidence is kind of low so they kind of shine by doing extra things like pampering themselves or you know taking extra time to make sure they look just right but i feel like this person is being reminded about things they're seeing things so I, I feel like this is a situation where there may not be any communication right now there may not be any contact with you and this person um, because it seems like there needs to be a resolution because this person wants to reconcile they want to put things behind them they want the situation to be resolved they want to be, they want it put to rest, you know, and I feel like, I feel like they're being very defensive. They're feeling like things just aren't going the way they planned with this Seven of Swords energy. I feel like they, they feel like they're being betrayed some way. Like someone's taking something from them and kind of just left them with these two swords. You know, someone's taking a lot out of them and just left them with very little. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles was about hard work. It's about enjoying the work that you put into it, you know, kind of mastering this craft or this work that you've done. And I feel like this person wants to work on it. They want to reconcile. They want some kind of closure, um, but they want it on their terms, it feels like. With this vanity card, it's like they want it at their terms and at their terms only. With this justice card, I feel like they're, they, they want communication to come to them. They want to speak their truth. They want to tell you exactly how they feel, you know? Let's see, give me another card for the person. Yeah, Page of Wands. You have the Page of Wands and they have the Page of Wands. So they definitely want to talk this situation out. Um, I feel like things have got, had gotten heated, kind of very passionate, very, a little overwhelming at once. And I feel like someone had to walk away from the situation. Someone had to walk away from the situation before it got too heated, too aggressive you know at the bottom we have the fool so yeah I feel like this person this person wants to start over they want a new beginning in this situation they want a new start to speak their truth to you know let you know exactly how they feel because I feel like okay you're seeing this as some kind of 
wish fulfillment like you really care about this person you care about this person very deeply and I'm not sure what the conflict was but you really want open communication and maybe this person heard something that they really didn't want to hear and they had to walk away from the situation but they do want resolution they do want this to be reconciled Spirit, give me some energy for this connection. For you, we have the Three of Pentacles. For them, we have the Judgment. Yeah, I feel like there's other people involved in the, in the situation. This person feels very judged. They feel very violated. They feel like they were ganged up on, you know. And I feel like if this is your energy on this side, Aries, I feel like you didn't mean any harm. You just were speaking what you felt or your opinion about the situation. And I feel like this person on this side took it the totally different I mean they took it totally to the left you know give me another card for this connection please the ten of pentacles for you and the king of swords for them so I feel like you see that there's still value in this relationship you see that there's still a lot of value and you feel like that value can be conveyed by you telling this person exactly how you feel. Expressing to this person exactly what's going on. And I feel like this person is able to accept it, but they're able to accept it with conditions. You know, with this King of Swords, the King of Swords is very strategic in his thinking. He kind of expresses what he wants to express, you know, and he holds back what he knows he needs to. He doesn't give you all the information to be able to be used against him. You know what I mean? That kind of situation. So I feel like with this King of Swords energy, this person is willing to talk, but I feel like they're willing to only accept the things that please them. They're not willing to accept the full truth. Tell me more about this connection. The Eight of Pentacles for you. And the Ace of Pentacles for them. So yeah, I feel like with the, the Eight of Pentacles, you both have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you both want to work on the situation. You both know that it's going to take some kind of work to put into this in order for it to be resolved. But with the Ace of Pentacles in the middle of the two eights, I feel like it can be resolved. It's gonna, just going to take a lot of communication, a lot of time, and a lot of effort. You know, this is... This is something that you're really going to have to work at. Having communication, having it open. What is an outcome? The Knight of Wands for you. The Two of Wands for them. So yeah, I feel like you want a speedy recovery to the situation you want to conversate with this person very soon I mean as soon as you get off of this reading you may call this person or text them or apply some kind of situation that's going to open the lines of communication and I feel like this person is waiting for you to communicate this person is waiting for results they're waiting for you to make the first move Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this person is very receptive to hear what you say. But I feel like it's they're very passionate. They're very... They're, 
they're very bold you know I'm gonna take a look at some love cards for this situation tell me about Aries <laughs> the Grim Reaper you're almost done the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life you you're like that's where you feel like it's going you feel like it's over you feel like you've had enough like you know you want to say things but you're not sure how to say them and we have the hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic of options not showing your hand or gambling yeah you feel like whatever you have to say this person isn't going to accept so why say it anyway um but i feel like you're kind of back and forth with taking a risk of saying what you mean and meaning what you say you know um you're not wanting to show this person exactly how you feel because i feel like you've both been hurt in the situation um, whatever the situation was, both of your feelings were hurt. Both of you endured some pain. Although you're trying to get past this, you know, I feel like your person is waiting on you to make a move. And I feel like you're being very strategic. You don't really want to show this person exactly how you feel because you feel like they'll just use it against you. For them, we have masks. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Yeah, this person is, is pretending that they don't care. They're pretending that their feelings aren't hurt, like, you know, nothing can harm them, or so forth or so on. You know, this person is pretending. They're wearing a mask. And we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Yeah, this person is waiting for you to contact them because they really feel, they really care about you too, you know. But they're, they're in this waiting mode. Uh, you may receive an invitation from this person, you know, inviting you to talk. Inviting you to, you know, clear the air. Okay, let's get some more love cards for you and this person. For you. Oh. Oh. I'm dropping them. For you, we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay, and we have deep in your heart you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And we also have secret admirer. Someone has deep feelings for you more than what they're letting on okay for them we have only time will tell and we have trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Yes, yeah, so I feel like they need to trust. They need to heal the situation as well. They can't just sit back and hope for the best aspect, you know. Let's take a look at these cards. What would your person say to you? What does your person have to say? What are their hidden feelings? What are their hidden feelings? <laughs> they feel like there's a backstabber. They feel like there's a backstabber who really hurt them. And we kind of seen that with the Seven of Swords. I still love you. Surrender. Mm -hmm. 
this is over. So they feel like this may be over for them. Let's go our separate ways. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I feel like this person is really deep in their feelings. They're really deep in whatever this is. But they still they still love you. They still care. But they feel like there's a lot of betrayal. You know, someone was a backstabber. Someone really hurt them really deep. And they're afraid to surrender because they're waiting for you to contact them to give them some kind of communication. They feel like this is over. Okay, let's just go our separate ways. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like they're very caught in their feelings. Let's get an outcome. Let's get an outcome for this situation. And we have the Eight of Wands. There needs to be some kind of action, some kind of communication that happens in the situation. We have the Six of Wands. Only I feel like once this communication is conveyed and you both kind of clear the air, I feel like it's going to be successful. You're going to have that happiness, that joy. But I feel like there's always something going to be lingering behind. This may be some sort of codependent situation because I feel like this person feels blocked. They feel like, you know, very betrayed, very... kind of envious in a way. Hmm. One more card. The Emperor. Yeah, they're trying to take control of whatever this addiction is, whatever this is, whatever obsession, whatever this is in the situation, whatever's holding them, whatever's blocking them or binding them. They're trying to take control of the situation. They're trying to defeat it, to conquer it, you know? Um, wow. You know what? I haven't did this for other signs, but I feel like I'm going to do it for this one. What can Aries do to get past this situation? What can Aries do? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Okay, I feel like you being in a full advantage of knowing. I feel like this person isn't saying certain things. We have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So there may not be anything that you can do to fully get back the situation the way it should be. But I feel like communication is going to bring you out of it. And we have grief. Wow. Aries. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I feel like this person may have lost you. With whatever that they, they did, however they're going about things, I feel like this person has lost you. They've kind of lost their chance with you. Wow. Okay, Aries. This is what I have for you. Hmm. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if you want to clarify the situation. Also, it may be helpful for you to look at your person's uh, last reading if you know their sign. See uh, more information if you want. And uh, let me know about the spread. If it's something I should incorporate into my readings or not. And until the next reading, Aries, many blessings to you. Love and light.